On last week's Cow-Calf Corner, we visited with you about the importance of working with your veterinarian if you find an animal that's died in your herd so that we get the information from that animal that can help us prevent uh, further disease and death loss. Today, we want to take a look at this in terms of the procedure that's involved. If I'm the herd owner, John, and I find that here in the summertime, uh, the heat of Oklahoma, that we have an animal that's died, gosh, there's a lot of things that could be going on in terms of uh, nitrates, prussic acid, blue-green algae, not to name uh, all the diseases that's possible. What do I, as the herd owner, do as I first find this animal? Glenn, <coughs> you hit the nail on the head as far as the weather's concerned. The first thing to do is to call us as soon as possible. In this weather, that animal deteriorates rapidly and its, its value diminishes rapidly because those changes that cause the death of that animal uh, are leaving rapidly. The second thing is don't move that animal. And, and I say that for a couple of reasons. One is biosecurity. If there's something that's really contagious, you don't want to spread it anywhere on your place, you, so you, you, you keep it there. The second reason, there's a lot of information right around that animal that, that gives us leads as to what's going on. And then, and then thirdly, uh, we certainly want to know uh, the herd health history, uh, what the animal's been eating, where it's been pastured, and, and some of those things. What's going to happen when you as the veterinarian come to the place and uh, begin to, to look at this uh, deceased animal? What's the procedure that takes place then? We want to examine that animal, just a gross overall exam, where it's lying. You know, case in point with, uh, with uh, animals that consume lead from, you know, tractor batteries to car batteries that have broken and those cows love those lead plates. Uh, but that lead causes severe swelling of the brain. And those cows, they go into convulsions and actually they die when they're in a convulsion. So you can see the, where that animal is, uh, been, is laying that it's torn the, the ground up around there. And then the second thing is we do our, our post-mortem examination. And based on what we find, we may want to collect some tissues, some blood, some fluid, uh, maybe some gastrointestinal content. The case will drive us as to, to what we think we need to send to the laboratory for further testing. Then after we do that, we want to go out and, uh, and inspect the rest of the herd. We, we want to see what they look like. We want to see the total environment that this animal is ex exposed to, Glenn. And uh, that's, that's, we need that information. How would you uh, uh, then conclude our, our past two presentations on working with a veterinarian in terms of uh, just a final thought as to uh, what the producer needs to know? Well, Glenn, I would say you never want to waste a dead animal. There can be tremendous value in that animal. It's just there for the taking. I think that John has really summarized well the concept of uh, if you find an animal that's died, work with your veterinarian as soon as possible to prevent uh, further uh, disease or toxin deaths, and that'll go a long ways to helping your bottom line and your herd. We look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.